So my phone hates me. Very, very much. It keeps telling me I don't have storage. I don't believe it. I think there's plenty of storage. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. And today we're gonna talk about name change and changing your gender marker in the state of Illinois because every state is different. So what I did was I asked a few friends and they told me, they, they pointed me to the right direction and that direction led me to the courthouse. You have to file some paperwork and it's not just one, two sheets, it's like a whole packet. It's a whole freaking packet. No, not really. But I mean, you do have to turn in some other shit. Um, and you are filling out the same thing. I mean, your current name, no, you're putting the date, your current name, and the name you want to change it to. Your birthday, your social, your F and signature, and that's, that's it. You need a freaking witness. Besides having to put it in the newspaper, you need a freaking witness too. Yeah. A relative, a parent, a guardian, just someone that can put their name, how long they've known you, their information, and their signature, and that's it. You're done. After you fill out all of the paperwork, you go, you give it to them. You can't even do it right there when you go to the courthouse and you grab the paperwork. You turn it in, and oh, but you need money. Before you go to the courthouse, make sure you have you ask them how much it's gonna be. In the state of Illinois, it was 300, three, uh, that was totally like a little Mexican accent. Did you hear that? 300, um, $300 um, plus taxes and shit. Um, they stamp it, date, whatever, and you either get the option to pick your court date or they give you a court date. Um, you pay it and then that, that's it. Then, then they give you a sheet. Well, my courthouse was very nice and they gave me a sheet. So I'm, I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they should help you out. If not, then man, you, it sucks. Fucking people. You get um, a paper a list of newspapers that you have to go and publish your, your legal name change and so I went to one closest to me which was very close and it's not free nothing in this world is ever free and if it is take it if you have the chance take it plus in the newspaper you just pretty much give them one of the, the forms and they do it and they just ask for your for your information and that's that's pretty much it once you file it in the newspaper um, maybe in like a week or two you'll get um, uh, my certification for um, publishing it um, in their newspaper and it's just a copy that I a, a copy of a receipt and then a little clip of um, the newspaper of my little column over here and then just another copy and then the, uh, this whatever that I had put in the newspaper. That's it. And then you have to go to the courthouse again, again, and show them that you got your certification, that you published it in the newspaper and Honestly, I don't know what happens after that because I haven't gotten to that step yet. But that's what I have to do. I'm pretty sure I just have to go in and tell them, hey, I have my certification. What form do I need to fill out? And that's it. They just have to file it. Just why? I don't know. I don't know. Ask them. You go to court and you either get approved or denied, which most of the time, I've heard you get approved. Unless somebody shows like, I object. They cannot change their name to 
Juanito. Next thing we are gonna talk about is changing your gender marker in the state of Illinois. What I did, because somebody told me that you had to get your surgery done, and then somebody else told me you need to go to a therapist or a doctor and they just give you a letter. So, what I did was when I had to go to my doctor's appointment, I asked my doctor, hey, you know what, um, I have a question. How do I change my gender marker? That's it. All you do is you ask your doctor. And she was really cool about it. And she told me, oh yeah, don't worry. I, I can do that right now. All this is saying is that I'm doing the right treatment and that I can effing change my gender because my doctor said I can. That's, that's pretty much it. She gave me three copies of it. So if I need an extra one, I had one. Remember, this is for the state of Illinois only. If you are in a different state, ask a friend, go to your nearest courthouse. Those don't work. Go talk to your doctor. If your doctor doesn't know and all of those fail, Google it. You will find it. <laughs> you do know how to do it. Go ahead and comment below how you guys did it. Other people know. We have to communicate, guys. Communicate. We're all trying to figure this shit out. And sometimes it's hard, but you can do it. I did it. I mean, I had friends that told me and pointed me to it. Well, guys, I hope you liked the video. Um, I hope you learned a few things in um, how to change your name. Um, your gender marker. I'm sure there's many more videos, but it's different every state and if your state's like this, well then I'm sorry you had to go through it. Go ahead and follow my journey on Instagram. Um, I do not do the Facebook thing or Twitter thing or Tumblr thing or any other thing besides the YouTube and Instagram. That's pretty much it guys. Um, have an awesome day. It's really shitty out here today in Illinois. It's rainy, it's yucky, but you gotta make the most of it, right? Because you never know when's your last. Wow, that got deep. <laughs> Quick thing, guys, totally forgot to mention this, but um, changing, if you are a minor and changing your name, that's um, a little different process like the different paperwork you have to fill out and you need a guardian or a parent to sign off and say that you can change your name um, that process I do not know um, I it could be just the paperwork is different um, price could be different um, but I know you still you still have to publish it in the newspaper and have to go to court and um, changing your gender marker will s still be the same thing. I would then put water. That's not very creative. Thanks. <laughs> this video is ending now.